Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist, and we are exploring together the cobalt watercolor family. We have already explored yellows and blues, and today we are diving into greens. Let's uh, dive in. In my collection of cobalt green, we have uh, different siblings, like uh, in the other cobalt colors. I have a paint with the PG-50, with PG-26 and PG-19. We start uh, from uh, PG-50. The first one that we swatch is the Winsor & Newton. It reminds me of uh, an emerald green that I have from Cotman. It's very much uh, the same uh, hue. It's a uh, quite opaque uh, color. PG50 is cobalt titanate green. They're all very light fast, this cobalt green. They're all quite opaque and dull. To see if uh, it granulates, we need to add more water, obviously. And voila. And this is Winsor & Newton Professional. This is uh, Cobalt Green by Lucas. I have it in a pan, in my 48 uh, pan, half pan set. It's completely different, it's uh, very renovated. It's uh, much less emerald, it's more yellowish, it's warmer, and it is completely different, but still a PG-50. Then we have uh, My Mary Blue Cobalt Green Light, Verde di Cobalto Chiaro. This is my Mary Blue. Once again, completely different, even more yellowish. This is a delightful hue. I really love this cobalt green. It moves so nicely on paper and it's really beautiful. It's incredible, the three of them. As usual, same pigment, PG-50, 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 totally different hues, so much fun. So when I say the name doesn't say much, I mean just this. You can have a palette of cobalt greens and have a palette of all different greens. And then we have uh, Old Holland. This is um, Old Holland, very pretty, tiny tube. I love the packaging of Old Holland, so traditional, but I will use my Old Holland palette that I am starting to use a lot. I like it. It has some unique colors. If you're interested in the review, you can go. You can go to the link in the description box. Well, this cobalt green is very, very light, very, very transparent. It's different from all the other cobalt greens. It's more like a viridian, but it's not a viridian. It's a PG-50. And uh, it has this cloudy texture, very unique to old Holland. Uh, it's a bit gluey. But it's not uh, unpleasant, it's just the smell. As I always say, that is very unpleasant, very transparent, somehow weak, very delicate, cloudy, has this foggy, cloudy textures. I don't mind it at all. I like it, but it's very personal once again. And then we have the last one of our cobalt greens, and we have M. Gram. A recent discovery, wonderful discovery. I just love M-Gram. 
it's with honey and I like uh, paint with honey it makes them so soft once again a different hue you see that cobalt green here is somehow dull so I'm sure that the mixes we will have are going to be completely different if we pick uh, each of them very very granulating oh this is so beautiful and so this is pg50 it's a very delicate pigment generally speaking granulating and uh, with very different result according to the brand let's go now to is um, it's a sibling pg26 which is dark cobalt green first one Winsor and Newton I like to start from Winsor and Newton because it is uh, somehow my benchmark and this is you see much more bluish as a green it's more granulating it's wonderful it's really a, a cool uh, granulating uh, forest green actually this uh, pg26 can be used for faraway trees uh, because the granulation uh, simulates the faraway branches and leaves uh, oh this is adorable and uh, this pigment is also a great mixing green because you can turn it down with earth colors it's a perfect complement to earth uh, palettes according to handprint and that's how I use it actually like my Viridian same thing this darker green by Winsor & Newton it's absolutely wonderful same pigment by Schminke Horadam the artist grade range by Schminke and uh, it's pity they're not side by side i will just put a little brush stroke here to see the difference it's uh, it's not as bluish as the Winsor and newton equivalent but it's a beautiful deep forest green with perfect dispersion on, on paper lovely granulation although not as heavy flocculation as uh, Winsor & Newton but I always say I, I'm not sure about what I'm saying but I have the feeling that Schminke is somehow less granulating than uh, some other brands like Winsor & Newton that has some wonderful granulation Although Schminke produces the super granulation range, but it's ordinary paints are not so granulating. I'm adding more here. And it's beautiful. Yes, it's somehow warmer than uh, the Windsor and Newton one. Now we have another PG26 and it is uh, this uh, Verona Green Earth by Lucas. Verona Green Earth. This is more similar to this uh, Schminke one. Don't know why they call it Verona Green Earth because uh, it's not a green earth at all. Green Earth is uh, PG-23, but um, yes, it's more like a Viridian or a Verona green. And uh, the dispersion is not perfect on paper. This is more transparent than PG-50. Generally speaking, the PG-26. And uh, it looks like a more stable, light, fast version, stronger, more pigmented than Viridian to me. So I'd rather use this than Viridian. 
my suggestion as a cold green uh, as a mixing base and um, we have the last of our PG26 and uh, it is this uh, my Mary blue cobalt green verde di cobalto as you know my Mary is an Italian brand quite easy to find in Italy it's almost empty this one Wow, out of color. Here we are. Lot of color. I'll squeeze too much, maybe. Gigantic dot. I have squeezed too much, maybe a gigantic dot. But I will water it down. This is darker and cooler than Schminke or Lucas. More similar to the Windsor and Newton, wonderfully granulating. We need to make this dry, but uh, it looks like a wonderful paint, this uh, cobalt green by my Mary, really wonderful. Then we have um, a third pigment, which is uh, PG19. And uh, there must be some kind of separation in Daniel Smith, or maybe it's my brush. Okay, I think I have, I think I have fixed the binder separation with a toothpick, but uh, I need some more paint. There is more binder than paint, actually. Okay. somehow gluey. It's bizarre because with uh, Danny Smith, uh, this is Cobalt Green Pale by Danny Smith, PG19. It's very unusual to have binder issues, but it happens even in the best of families. So it's texture is weird, but uh, let's concentrate on color, on the hue. It's a warmer hue than, uh, maybe because of the binder, it's a warmer hue than uh, um, PG26. It's much more delicate. It's very strongly granulating. Let me see if I can get more. I think that uh, in any case, despite the binder issues, it is a very delicate color, this PG-19. And this is also what the handprint says. It's lovely, it's granulating and too bad for the binder issues. But uh, you can see the color. It is a warmer, somehow warmer, more delicate green. Strong granulation. Same pigment by Schminke as well. No binder issues. Very full tube. You know, one of these small tubes by Schminke can last such a long time. So pigmented, the Schminke, but ooh, very difficult to recap. I always find it difficult to put the cap back. Completely different to hue. You see, it's a dull green, it's completely different, but for sure it's warmer. No, it's the warmest of uh, this page. It's very soft. Very, very soft. Very smooth. Wow, the dispersion is incredible. It's more yellowish. It's most yellowish together with the My Mary Blue. And uh, it's a beautiful cobalt green. I'm sure it makes wonderful mixes. It's granulating. And then we have a different pigment that uh, 
It's the only cobalt green uh, called so-called cobalt green that uses this pigment and it's uh, Verte Cobal, Cobalt Green by Sennelier and they use PB36, Cobalt Chromium Oxide that uh, we find in Cerulean and in uh, Cobalt Blue. And let's see, this is a greenish version. Sennelier is such a beautiful brand. You have no idea of the feeling of uh, painting with. Oh, this is so beautiful to use. It's a delight. I love Sennelier. It's honey that gives this super soft texture. You find the same super soft texture in um, M-Gram. M-Gram here, they have the same super soft texture and uh, same feeling with Sennelier. Never really dries in a pen actually. And I love this fact, it stays somehow sticky, but wonderful. This is maybe more a turquoise, greenish turquoise, but they call it cobalt green, that's why I've put it in here. It doesn't have much to do with the rest of the colors, but it's very, very beautiful and a joy to use. There are some important brands missing, like Rembrandt, for instance. I'd love to have your contribution. If you have any suggestion, what is your favorite cobalt green? Let me know and uh, put it. Uh, you know that I love to receive your comments. I always reply. I just love that. It's the best part of having a YouTube channel is chatting with followers. So please do comment. And uh, I don't know if you have some of these or oh, there is some lovely, lovely cobalt green missing. I wish I had the Rembrandt, I don't. So we let this dry and uh, we do some mixes and then I'll come back for my final conclusion. Okay, I'm ready for my mixes. And for my mixes, I will use uh, my Lucas set. So I will use uh, PG50. Here, this one. PG26. Then I will use uh, PG19 from Schminke because I don't have it in Lucas. And then I will have cadmium yellow lemon. Always from Lucas. Permanent orange, which is one of my favorite colors. Look at how beautiful it is. English red, darker. Wonderful English red. And uh, yellow ochre. I do my mixes and then I'll come back.
Okay, you see a beautiful palette we have from these cobalt greens. Great mixing, great mixing base. Um, we let them dry and then we will see what we get when watercolor does what he has to do. So, do what he wants. Now it's all well dry. It has warped my, my paper because I have used too much water maybe, but um, yes, it's very interesting swatching. I, I wasn't expecting much from cobalt green. I thought it must be all the same. No, quite the opposite. The roll completely different. So we have five PG50 and they have like nothing to do one with the other. It's a um, yellowish green in these three hues, whereas it's much more green or turquoise from Lucas or Winsor and Newton. And uh, I really like the M gram, but also the My Mary. The Old Holland is a bit weak. The Lucas is pretty, but uh, nothing to do with uh, these two. But M gram is my favorite of these pigment. Then we have this wonderful, I think it's, uh, best in breeds. Uh, I'm passionate of dogs, so you know the probably you know the dog contest uh, in the UK, and you have uh, best in breeds. And the best in breeds is by far Windsor and Newton Professional. This cobalt green deep PG twenty six is my favorite in the whole uh, sheet of paper. And then we have with the same pigment. Uh, uh, these other three, Lucas is the less pretty, I would say, the Verona Green Earth is the weakest. The Schmink is very pretty and the My Mary Blue is also very strong, except there is um, sheen that won't go away, it must be some binder, but apart from that, it's very beautiful, the My Mary Blue. They look very much the same, Windsor and Newton and My Mary Blue. Schmink is also very nice. The Daniel Smith must have been a bad batch or something. If someone has this cobalt green pale PG-19 by Daniel Smith, please do let me know because I, I can't judge from this. And then uh, cobalt green pure by Schmink PG-19. It's not very interesting, I would say. And uh, I love the cobalt green by Senelier. It's beautiful, but it's more like an aqua green, uh, turquoise. So it doesn't have much to do in this uh, beautiful uh, palette that I have, but still beautiful color. So I'm waiting for your comments, of course, about your favorite cobalt green. You know, I'm crazy about your comments. Let's see the... mixes on the opposite side they are almost dry let me use my heater well 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 okay here we are with the pg26 pg50 pg19 and our yellows orange Reds. and uh, I think this is a very interesting mixing base you get uh, delightful muted greens with Venetian red uh, you get a dark that is very interesting I think that you, if you add even more green you get a very interesting dark and uh, this is beautiful, it's like deep green, very interesting. A lovely olive green with a nice color separation. A glowing grass green with cadmium yellow. And and maybe the prettiest is with yellow ochre. You get this uh, muted, um, delicate um, olive green, it's very nice. Uh, it's more yellowish than the version with the permanent orange. It's very nice. The PG-50 and PG-26, they are not very different. I think they are quite interchangeable in the mixes, but the PG-19 is much more 
vibrant and bright uh, and uh, it's less cobalty i would say but um, it's very very vibrant maybe because the schmink is so pigmented but this is different and also i would say less granulating lower color separation very interesting mixes as usual for these also i'm waiting for your contribution for uh, your favorite mixes with cobalt green, but I think this is just a starting point and you can mix a whole range. So, this is uh, almost uh, the last chapter in the cobalt saga. We have swatched today the cobalt green and then in the past we have swatched teal, cerulean, cobalt blue, cobalt yellow or orally i will put the links in the description box next time we will be swatching i can't wait cobalt violet and that is going to be a lot of fun so thanks for having watched this with me i'm waiting for your comments if you are interested in my channel why don't you subscribe and uh, i'm waiting for your thumbs up Thank you very much. That's all for now and big ciao from Elizabeth in Italy. Ciao, ciao.